Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and we're pleased to have joining us on the set now, uh, Jerry Harris. And Jerry's our partner and, and good friend, and of course, uh, he's the one that's in charge of the walking horse business for our television station, and just recently completed uh, the Walking Horse National Celebration of about a month ago right now. But there, uh, Jerry, you've been doing this for quite some time now, almost 20, 20 about 20, 20 years. And, and over the years, there's developed some problems, had there not, in the walking and horse industry and to how the, the the testing of the horses and inspections of the horses and how those things goes which are now leading to big issues within the industry tell us a little bit about that well the usda is is wanting to implement 2023 rulemaking to the horse protection act and for years other breeds have you know they've kind of sat back and they've watched what happened and said, well, that's walking horses, nothing up to us. But now the, they have finally realized that the Horse Protection Act is not for the Tennessee walking horses. And the Horse Protection Act, I believe, has been around for a long, since, long time. Since the 70s. Right. Uh, 1970, matter of fact. But, I mean, it, 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 it's the Horse Protection Act, which means all equine breeds. Now, with this new rulemaking, other breeds have finally realized that it includes them too because the, the USDA is wanting to take the action device, the pads, the heavy shoes, everything away from the walking horse, which when they say the action device, the pads, the heavy shoes, there's a lot of gated breeds. They, if they're walking, racking, pacing, trotting, that includes every breed, and other industries have now realized that. And it wouldn't be so bad, but there's no basis for it. Every bit of the research done through the years has shown that the pads and action advice do no harm to the horse and at all. Cl clarify that just a little bit because the, car, the, the the action devices that you speak of as you as you mentioned have been tested time and time and again and, and they don't weigh hardly anything six ounces right that's the limit six ounces uh, the pads I have matched the boots that I wear at the barn uh, weigh two and a half pounds a piece a lot of the packages don't weigh that but uh, and I guarantee you, I don't I'm, I'm heavy for my size, but I don't weigh no 1,100 pounds. A six ounce action device, Jimmy, to a horse would be far, far less than that watch compared to your weight, right. or this bracelet compared to my weight. So now they've gone to the point, and I will say this, they're doing this because of peer pressure. That's the only reason they've got, because there is no evidence. They cannot present the first bit of evidence that the pads and the action device harm the horse. Everything shows it does not. But they're, they're just following suit with the Humane Society of the United States, which wants the pads and action device gone. Then that, it'll be a domino effect. They'll get the saddlebreds. Even the court horse people are realizing it, it includes them. So my thing is this. We have proven that our horse is in the best shape. We've had Last week in North Carolina, we had horses showing back-to-back -back nights and passing the USDA inspections. So for them to say our horses are being abused is, I mean, it's, it's just, it's obvious that they're not. Can, can we be clear here, though, when we're talking about horses getting turned down, even under the unfair inspection practices, of the USDA, there's still a very, very small amount of horses that get turned down. Correct? There is. It, it's not. It's not a, a, abundance of horses. Here, here's the deal. If every horse that the USDA turns down, no matter what it's for, it can be for a high band, it can be for uh, shoeing a sixteenth of an inch off, it can be for multiple things. But they put every one of them down as a sore horse. Correct. Which they're not. They, they can't, they use methods of inspecting that we've recorded that shows them taking their thumb and pushing down into the pocket and hitting the nerves down there to make the horse. On move. the horse's foot. Uh, I watched a video last night of a, one of the inspectors with a horse's 
split between her legs with hook testers and she was mashing so hard that her knuckles were turning white. Jimmy, that that's abusive to the horse right there, but it's finding a false positive, which they're using to attack the industry. Right now, we've got until the 20th, there's a comment section on the uh, USDA's website to where you can go and make a comment about the Horse Protection Act and this new rule. A lot of people are making comments on it, but I don't think people have really looked at the collateral damage that that would cause. And when you look at the collateral damage, I'm talking about trainers out of business, barns closing, owners losing thousands of dollars, charities, the charities losing their way of raising funds. Then you've got the blacksmiths. You've got restaurants, you've got quick stop markets, you've got manufacturers hotels. of horses and equipment, hotels. Right across the board, all of these people are going to suffer because the USDA is caving into the Humane Society of the United States on a request that's really ridiculous because they're saying the pads and the action device harm the horse. But they have no proof of it. Ever all the research ever done has shown that it doesn't. And then you've got this, the way they interpret the SCAR rule. We've got one video that, that the, the veterinarian for the USDA says there's a SCAR here even though it's only two or three cells thick. That's, that's the most ridiculous statement ever made. If you're a medical person too, real quick, uh, you realize that you you cannot feel a, a <laughs> no. scar that's that's three cells sick. Well, Lord, no. If he could, it, his hands would be worth millions of dollars. But that that is what the walking horse industry goes through. Every time we go to a show, it's the inspection process that they put us through. And then they want to turn around and take our pads and our action device when there's all the, the tests ever run. Back in 2016, 29 horses turned down at the celebration on Scar Road were taken to one barn in Shelbyville. Biopsies were done on all those horses. Out of the 29 horses taken over there, 58 biopsies came back negative, which means that 29 horses were turned down at the celebration, which cost the trainer, the owner, and the show. I mean, for nothing, for a false positive. So it, that's what the walking horse industry goes through. And I just wanted people to know it, know what we're facing. But the other breeds, they need to get ready because the dominoes. It's going to affect all of them. It's going to affect all of them. There is no way it's, it cannot. The presidents is being set. Once they take the pads and the action device from the walking horse, all the rest of them are in, in line. They're going to lose them too. We're about out of time, but can't. But is there anything that the average person can do, comment, or to try to do to help the situation? You can go to the USDA's website and enter in there that you want to make a comment on the new rule being made by the USDA. That's all you got to do. It it will it'll be it's not easy to find, but you can find it, and. The, if you want to know, call me. My number is 931-581-4411 or email me at jerry at whatahorse.com. I will send you the link to where you can make a post about it because, believe me, the small businesses in the surrounding counties plus in other states, they're going to suffer because of this. I guarantee you they're going to suffer because of it because it's too widespread. All right. Uh, something that really can uh, have a tremendous economic impact upon the area that folks that we live in right here in southern Middle Tennessee. So, so give Jerry a call. Uh, that's area code 931 581 or reach him at whatahorse.com and try to help us out with this. We'll be right back right after this.